Well, boys and girls, this is another day where we're stuck in the house, but we just need to soldier on until this virus is away. Keep ourselves occupied, keep ourselves working, keep ourselves doing different things. That's what I say. This is a video on energy, and the key term is work done. Work done is energy, but what sort of energy is it? What do we mean by work done? That's what we're going to investigate in this series of short videos. First question I'm going to ask myself though, well suppose, suppose I've got to mow the lawn, that will take energy. I'll take energy from the food that I eat. And my question I'm going to ask myself, how much energy will I need to eat from porridge, for example, to mow my lawn? What's well, a pack of porridge here. And we can actually see it's got nutritional information and it says here, uh, energy in a 40 gram serving of porridge is 114 kilojoules, which is equivalent to 272 kilocalories. We'll look at kilocalories later when we're looking at a uh, specific heat capacity of waters and things. But let's just focus on joules just now. So 114 4 kilojoules of energy and a 40 gram serving of porridge with skimmed milk. So then my intake of porridge was 1144 kilojoules and I only needed to give the lawn more 9.6 kilojoules to mow my lawn. So work done by a force is defined as the magnitude of the force pushing or pulling a body and the distance that body moves whilst being pushed or pulled. And work done is equal to force times distance. I'll say that again, work done is equal to force times distance. So if a force of one newton pushes or pulls a body exactly one meter, then one joule of work has been done by that force. In my next video I shall take this one step further. Thank you very much.